Hello everyone, my name is Jakub Horn and I'm technical marketing engineer at Cisco. Today I would like to show you a demonstration of SRV6 microSIT interoperability. I'm working with SRV6 for the last three years and I'm always saying during my presentation that one of the main benefits of SRV6 is it is easy to automate, it's easy to orchestrate. So I wanted to prove that, so I bought the Python book and built small application to automate all demonstration. And because we are in 2020, I wanted to use artificial intelligence. Hello, how can I help you? I need your help with SRV6 microSIT demonstration. I can certainly help with SRV6 microSID interoperability demonstration. Here is network topology. We have IPv6 network where we connect a T-Rex traffic generator. On ingress side T-Rex generates IPv4 traffic which is encapsulated by ingress VPEP based on programmed SRV6 microSID policy. On egress traffic is decapsulated and sent back to T-Rex. T-Rex then measures latency of traffic and shows that latency in the graph on the right hand side. Below you can see Wireshark capture just after ingress VPP to see full encapsulation. Which devices do you want to add? 5500 Cisco NCS 5500 is Broadcom Jericho based platform. Linux First open source implementation in Linux kernel. 8000 Cisco 8000 recent addition to Cisco SP portfolio Tofino Barefoot Tofino NPU with fully P4 programmed microSID implementation 9k Proven platform based on custom silicon NPU called Lightspeed. Arcus. Arcus device based on Jericho 2 NPU with Broadcom SDK support for SRV6 microSID. Marvel. Latest Marvel Falcon NPU implementation. XRV9K XRV9K is Cisco software based router VPP Last but not least FDIO is open source software implementation based on DPDK Now you can define senior path through the network Barefoot Spitfire VPP Go Done. Another policy, please. Here we can see immediate increase in the latency throughout the network as the packet traverses longer paths through many devices through the network. So we can also take a look on the Wireshark packet capture here. So here we can see destination address with 2001-1100 with four different microSIDs. 500 is for barefoot, A00 is for 8000, 200 is VPP and D00 is egress decapsulation. Here we don't have any SRH because all the instructions fits into the one single carrier. 
So our next policy uh, is going to be more complex and we will do all devices. 5500. Eight thousand nine K XRV nine K VPP Falcon Arcus Barefoot Linux Finish This is it Another policy please Here we should see significant increase in the latency again as traffic goes through significantly more devices and right now as we have 10 different microSIDs, we won't be able to send just simple one carrier. So here in a packet capture, we actually have two carriers and both carriers are put into the SRH, one as a segment one and second as a segment segment zero. And because active segment is segment one, the active segment is Currently active segment is copied into the destination address and then packet is forwarded accordingly all the way up to Marvel and then Marvel will do next segment and will forward and finish, finish, finish the policy. And that's it for today. SRV6 microSIT is natural part of SRV6. It just defines few new instruction and it's ultimately targeted for hyperscaled 5G use cases. Thank you for watching this video and if you wanna add any comments or suggestions feel free to add them under this video. Goodbye.